much Tovi. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong, and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me. Or worse. But this was the fate woven for me. So I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. I know you are valued. This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home? I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions. ...to see them more clearly.
I have the plans you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds. Prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf, a great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf, and falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? You three spin our destinies as a thread in fabric. But threads may be unraveled by snags and catches. 
Not all can be foreseen, but loose threads can be rewoven or restrung. At day's end, the tapestry will be preserved. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? Devise a strategy to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of. Who is balls? We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight. We are fighting for our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Harvey, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you. We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Thor, Lord of Thunder. Together we'll cripple the enemy before they grow too bold. Rouse every warrior who can hold an axe or hammer. We're hunting Jotna heads! The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. Ein Herjar! Here is the battle you died to attain! For Heavy and for Asgard! Jotunheim <laughs> scum! Welcome to your doom! With me, 
I gift this battle to myself! What's that? You've done us no favors either, Jonathan. Wait, no! Harvey! I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy child sheep herder. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
What is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Why have you come to Asgard? To bow my bruised ego, I'll admit. The Jotnar did not appreciate my skills and crafts. And you thought we, in Asgard, might? Was it wrong to believe you and your kin possess a wisdom beyond measure and could recognize such a rare opportunity? Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, Hywan. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Yotna can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Quite a coincidence that you came when you did, at the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urvur. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt! I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no, it's no trouble, Avi. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. I wish there were more! <laughs> 
The sky itself shatters before your might thaw. Death to all Jutnar! Asgard belongs to the Aesir! We... We are proud to serve you, yeah. Thoughts are clouded with shadows of doom. Even this peaceful valley seems to hold hidden dangers. secrets. The sunstone has been moved. The light's pass is shifted. Look 
he said you'd be here. He told me of the Builder's request. An offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Javi? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, dear. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you? Strange omens and wild portents. Something evil is stirring. And I cannot always sift the truth from what is false. Farseer, you have sighed beyond us all. I have no doubt you will prevail over what troubles you. I will need your strength in the coming days. To anchor me, to challenge me, to pull me back from the abyss should I teeter. And I will, as long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. I recall there being more light in here. These sunstones are meant to guide the light, but the path has been diverted. What if an invader was trying to weaken the well's defenses? Are we meant to intervene? The integrity of this sacred place must be preserved. But whether we be a bane or a boon remains to be seen. There are two targets the light must strike, but only one stream. How do two farms share one source of water? By splitting the stream.
Once or twice, the light has found its mark, the stone is lit. It will appreciate our visit. The curious are not welcome here. We will have come and gone before they feel our presence. Well is open to us. I will lead. I'll suffer no wolves in Asgard. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Javi. Has your mind fled you? You act as though possessed by the spirit of another. My mind is my own, dear. But you pose a curious thought. Could one mind usurp another's? The huga of one in the body of someone else. Are you drunk on these waters? Take your flask, forget the wolf, and let us be gone. Before the Norn it weave us a pair of shackles. Take this beast. I want it caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. To ease your troubled mind, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. 
Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. When one descends this deep, there's no going back up. Then the only way is further.